Hey guys, this is Locke. Um, so I've been kind of toying around with Tubi a bit, and uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the problems that I kind of see with her, the reason I'm having a lot of trouble uh, using her. First of all, um, now Tubi is known as the evade unit in the game, right? So I'm, I put the maximum evade stuff on her. This is her maxed out VC that I have on her. I have uh, maxed out Shiva and I have the maxed out agility card. So this is pretty much the highest evade she can get right now. I also have tetrasulfate with all evade nodes unlocked. Um, and then to test out the accuracy uh, against her, I'm using Titus. And I'm not even using the maximum accuracy gear. Like for example, I'm using pod 153, which only gives 14 accuracy instead of Alexandrite ring, which gives, you know, 40 accuracy, right? And I'm using uh, this Esper Whereas I could use this one, which gives, I think, 25 accuracy. Uh, it's either 15 or 25. Either way, like I, I could increase this accuracy a lot more, but I'm not. Uh, and instead, like let's let's check it. Let's check out what the um, how much uh, how much evade like how often she we can get we can how often we can assume she would evade in uh, in auto battles. So. Uh, I, I'm gonna test her from like hitting her from from every different side, and we will see. Okay, so from the front, Titus has a 28% chance to hit. This is not good actually, <laughs> because uh, like, take a look. Okay, so in the back, he has 58% chance. So from the front and back, there's a 30% chance to hit, and um when when uh when somebody's approaching you right like say titus starts off here and you know you start off here you come and you try to like you buff or something and you stand here yeah titus won't hit you and he can't get behind you on the first turn but as the fight fight starts and you start moving around to attack you know whoever the squishiest unit is then titus will get a chance to attack you and he will come in and, and attack you and he will have a huge ta chance to hit you uh 58% chance, uh, like, maybe you're like, oh, that, that's only a half, uh, uh, that's only like, you know, about a half chance to hit. The problem is, like, one hit will kill her, see? So, uh, like, 58% chance, um, he probably will get, like, two or three shots at 58% chance to hit her, and you just need to hit her once, and she's dead. Whereas, she doesn't have anywhere near that kind of damage to attack him. Like, let's take a look at her, some of her skills... Uh, like she does this is the damage that she does and they're both level 120 and I'm for both of them I'm using the best card that I have available like there isn't anything that she could do and sure I mean okay maybe I can use uh, illusion to increase her um, her evade by 25 in which case Titus would now have 38% so 1 in 3 hits he would get her and this is Titus completely not geared for evasion. This is like how I would typically set up Titus right now if I was just building like an all-around build. Uh, so that, this is the first problem that I have with Titus, that, uh, not Titus, with uh, 2B, that sh right now in the game, like, I, I, like you know, uh, using level 120 units, I can already, um, I'm just going to quit this because I can't talk and do this at the same time. Um, using one level 120 units, they already have a pretty high dexterity and luck uh, baseline that they're already hitting them, like, they're already hitting evasive units for a pretty high hit chance. Uh, when Venera was released and evade was the thing, you usually had like 0% chance to hit somebody from the front. And you had like, say, 12% chance to hit someone from the back, right? So um, with evade gear, uh, like, if you put anything, like if you put one Alexander ring, if you put uh, the two other dragon Esper, which let me just take a look to see how much of a, uh, so how much accuracy he gives. He gives um, so five, fifteen. So he gives fifteen accuracy, not twenty-five. So additional fifteen. So it went from like fifty-eight to seventy-three accuracy just by putting this on, right? Because I believe I did not take any accuracy nodes on this or maybe I did let me just double check okay so I did so it would have been sorry it would have been eight more so from 58 to 66 
So two out of three chances to hit if she doesn't use illusion. And if you have a lot of her buffs active, she won't use illusion. She will use like the slash resist uh, buff instead, which is probably better for her than using illusion uh, in most of the cases because a lot of units are slash and taking one fifth less damage is probably better in, again, in most cases. Um, so so that's one of the problems that I have with Tubi, like that her, uh, her evade is just not where I need it to be. And sure, like Tetra Selfit is getting a upgrade, you know, on Wednesday, uh, and he's, she's going to be able to have even more um, evade. But at the same time, shortly after, Odin is getting a huge buff as well, and he's going to be having a lot more accuracy. So, you know, those two kind of balance each other out. Uh, so anyway, like, assuming that you don't want to play her in evade, what else can you do, right? Like, I mean, she has a lot of skills, she has a lot of things. She is the only unit in the game right now that I think has a slash buff to herself and teammates that you can apply within her kit. So what else can you do with her? Um, and is there other ways that you can run with her? I've been trying really hard to do that, and I just haven't really found anything. Um, it's nice that she has a barrier, but... Uh, you know, like, it, it, because she's a wind unit, she's countered really hard by ice, and ice has a level 120 unit that can break barriers. So Auron can easily break the barrier. And I was thinking that, okay, maybe if I put her evasion really high and I stack the barrier on top of that, Auron will have difficulty hitting the barrier, right? Like, he will probably just miss or something, you know, um, because he's trying to use the barrier attack and, and, and he'll keep missing. But the thing is, like, again, as a level 120 unit, their, their baseline dexterity is already pretty high. Like, if he just has to hit her once and she's dead. So, uh, you know, it happens a lot more often than I would like it to. Uh, that I can't, like, I, I can't say that, oh, I can make her as an evade unit with this barrier and she'll be okay. Because even in AI, I, I'm going to assume that people will just keep hitting it with like 10% chance. That's not what happens. Like people usually hit her with like 30 to 50% chance. And sooner or later, that goes through. So it's not a reliable strategy that I can come up with. So instead of using a strategy where it works 50% of the time, I could probably come up with a better strategy that works like, say, 70% of the time. Um, that's, you know, so that's the problem that I have with her. Uh, and that still relates back to evade. So let's, let's move on to something else. Um, Let's talk about her resistance field buff. So she has a, a 20% slash resist buff in the game. So I thought that was pretty good. I thought that I could uh, do something like, uh, I will put slash resist stuff on her uh, and get it up, pump it up really high. Like I could do something like this, for example, and give her, okay, this. So something like this, where she has Oops, come on. Where she has 70% slash resist. So you add an additional 20% slash resist with her um, uh, with her with her self buff, and she has 90% slash resist and a thousand attack. So that's pretty good. I mean, it is, except again, it's countered by ice, and you see ice everywhere, right? Uh, because like uh, Gilgamesh will reduce that 90% down by 38%, and everyone will do like pretty high damage before you were like oh yeah she's at least you only have 50 percent chance to hit her if you're running this you can't be running evade at the same time so you have to pick and choose like and um both of them are countered pretty heavily by evade and then you can say okay well maybe i can just uh you know not fight ice teams and yeah that's that's totally fine but the thing is like i just find that they're everywhere like take a look at this guild battle like, let's see how many ice teams there are. See, there's one, two, three, four. Uh, where else? Five, six. Uh, I'm just counting the Gilgamesh or Aron, I guess. Six, uh, seven, eight, nine. Nine out of 30 people are using ice. and. If you go back and count the ones that are not using ice, they're using Yuna most of the time. And she's also weak to Yuna as well. So she has to not only avoid ice teams, she also has to avoid Yuna. And that's just very difficult because as you can see, like the the people that are not using Gilgamesh or Aron, they usually have Yuna. Um, and 
I, I usually find the same thing in arena as well. If I go there and look for teams that I can fight that is not using either of the two, there is very few teams. Like, okay, that guy is also using it. Or they're also using some kind of a team. But these away teams still have Yuna in it. So again, it just becomes very difficult to have to find somebody that you can attack that doesn't have Aron or Yuna or Gilgamesh, I guess. So uh, that's... Yeah, that like that's the problem that I have with it. It just it just feels like it's very difficult to use her today. Uh, there are just too many units right now that are countering her. Um, maybe you know in three months down the line when Tifa is released and Tifa's VC is released, uh, she will fare better. She can pair with both of them and both of them can attack other units and and do a lot of damage. Uh, the thing when Venera was released was at the time Venera was both very evasive but also did a lot of damage. So if you took a 50% chance and missed, you probably died. Uh, I've tried that with her. I've tried hitting level 120 units with her and she can't one shot any of them. So um, like uh, you, I don't expect her to one shot Gilgamesh or Auron because they're ice, but she can't one shot Yuna or uh, Titus most of the time either. So with that, like then it becomes, she has to take two hits to hit them, to kill them and if uh, and they have a 50% chance to hit her so there's no advantage it's like uh, there's no reason why I would use her over some other strategy that's what I find and I tried really hard to use her I tried to use her in different uh, content I tried to use her in like match battles and live pvp content and still I just couldn't figure it out so um, my overall verdict on her is that if she's your favorite unit, if she's somebody that you really want to play, if you have an attachment to the genre, go for it. Like You're going to have so much more fun playing a unit that you enjoy using that you have some kind of attachment to than just some other unit that is the meta or the best or whatever, right? So if you like her, go for it. Use her. I'm like... Like I said, like there's a 50% chance to hit her, and maybe for you that's the enjoyment. Like you're gonna find ways to use her, and get the wins that you can by using a character you enjoy. There's no problem with that. Go for it. Um, but for people that are looking for, hey, you know, I have this much vizier to spend, and I want to get the most bang for my buck, I would not recommend you to invest in her if you're thinking of getting her to use right now. Like if you're like, oh, I'm gonna get, for example, I'm gonna use Yuna and I'm gonna dominate Arena or dominate all this content with her, yeah, you're gonna do that with Yuna. With 2B, you're not gonna do that right now. It's possible that in the future you might be able to do that, but right now I don't see that. There's only there's one place right now that I think she might excel at, but it is still a bit iffy, and that is class match, because class match at different points have different rules. So for example, previously there was a class match where you are not allowed to use Quicken, it was a different class match where um, you cannot, like, all, every unit in the game gets plus 50% resistance to magic and missile. And at the time, there wasn't any slash units that had a guaranteed hit. So the only guaranteed hit units were missile and uh, missile and magic, and you had a 50% resistance to that. So a lot of people were running evade. Something like that, if, if a rule like that came out for a class match, there might be something where she fits in and she is one of the best units to use, maybe. But uh, that's a very niche case, you know? And uh, like people haven't, I mean, we're talking about future class matches that I haven't even like really sat down to think about. So I'm just saying it's it might be possible, but I don't know. Uh, but for the most par part, like if you're conscious of who you want to invest in and you want to invest in characters that are good, that you can get a lot of use out of right now, I would recommend that you skip her. Uh, and it's for all these reasons. However, if you actually are using her and you found a great way to use her, please let me know. Like I would really like to use her and I am totally open to hearing your suggestions. There's, I I'm sure there are like I'm not you know I'm not a genius I'm sure there are ways that people are thinking about using many different units in ways that I've never thought about so if you found a way to use her and you want to share please let me know please leave it in the comments I would like to hear it and I would like to try it out as well um, but anyway this is my like uh, more in-depth review of her after using her for a while trying to figure out how to use her and these were my conclusions so um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions or comments or have anything to add, please leave it down below. Uh, take care now. Have a good day, guys. Bye.